All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Josh, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the Hogwarts Legacy at Home, which is called Lich Dom Battle Mage, or Lick Dom Battle Mage. Um, this game is this game's all about uh, magic and mages, and this game came out, I think, in like 2017 or something like that. And people were looking forward to it, but when it came out, it was broken. It was broken, it was buggy, um, it would crash, you'd get to a certain point in the game, and like you couldn't progress because you couldn't get through this door. So the game was pretty much unplayable. But over the years, they've updated and patched it, and now it's working really good. So we're going to check it out, and you can see, like, it runs smooth and I'm playing on PS4 and it's a pretty complex game um, you can have three spells equipped at one time and there's different sigils if you see in the bottom right hand corner the green spell I got that's necromancy and then there's fire and I'm on PS4 and square triangle and circle are my magic buttons like I can switch between them and you press R2 to fire L2 to use shield this is ice and this is my necromancy and when you shoot this at an enemy it'll stick to the enemy till they die and once they die they'll come back as my minion and you can have up to three minions so yeah it's it's a complex game so right here when you interact with this, you can assign your sigils, and you can fast travel. This is the fast travel. So far, these are the three areas I got, and there's multiple locations within those areas. And here, you can see, um, you see the three orbs right there? Those are the ones I have equipped. The ones on the list to the left are the other ones I have, if I want to select them, like Kinesis and Phase. Um, I'm going to stick with fire, ice, and necromancy for a minute. So, here we go. Let me click on the right joystick. When you click on the right joystick, it brings up this menu. And this is where you can attach your sigils to your spells. You see how this is fire, and around it, I have those three sigils. And then, on the list right here, I can equip different sigils. And... The sigils have rarities, so there's white text, green text, blue text, purple text, and orange text, which is, you know, white being least rare, orange being the most rare. So there's, like, common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. And on this one, I have purple and all that, but if you go over to crafting right here, if you select a sigil, you can use another sigil to upgrade uh, your your spell. I'm not going to do it. I don't want to use my orange legendary sigil on this. So I'm just going to leave it as is for now. Um, if you go over to synthesis, this is upgrade. You got deconstruct and you got reforge. Um, upgrading, you just select three sigils and you hit upgrade. So I'm using three blue sigils. So once I hit upgrade, it should upgrade to purple rarity. Yep, there it goes. So now I have a purple sigil. Um, deconstruct. You can just, you know, deconstruct the sigils you don't want. Um, I don't want to do that right now because I need my sigils. And reforge is... Okay, you see the circle right there? And you see how that yellow, orange are starting to fill up? Every time you reforge, it'll slowly fill up the circle. Once that circle is fully filled, you'll get a legendary sigil. But it does take a while to fill that circle. Um, let me see real quick. Let me go to my smart inventory. So right here. So these are the three spells I have equipped. Fire, Ice, and Necromancy. And these three sigils are what I have attached to the spell. And over time, you can um, upgrade them. You see how that one's green right here? 
and the more you use these spells the more they'll level up and then you can upgrade them so when I click on it see how it says equipped spell new spell I'm not gonna do it because the new spell actually downgrades sometimes it'll upgrade it just depends but sometimes you might want to just craft it and do it so you can get it to upgrade again it's it's pretty complex it really is so we'll go ahead and continue on and right now I'm gonna hit him with necromancy and then I'm gonna kill him boom and now he's mine he's my minion yeah go fuck him up minion I need another one though so let me get this guy there we go, and, oh, one more, boom, got him, one more, oh, shit, get him, there we go, sweet, and they do help a lot, I'm gonna let him kill this guy. I'll freeze him for him. There we go. Oh. Come here, you son of a bitch. Get rid of them. There we go. So, I'll help him out. Blast him. Oh. Oh, wait. I should have used my necromancy on that. Damn it. Oh, well. Alright. So, now I'm going to equip phase and kinesis and show you guys those and you can see there's three more locked so there's some more spells that i haven't unlocked yet not sure what they are though either and this thing right here will uh i think it gives you a sigil or something like that and this is phase you see how it moved them and kinesis i'm not sure exactly how it works i can't remember but phase helps a lot. What is this? Oh, that refills your shield. The three health bars in the bottom left, they're actually called shields, but once they're all gone, you die. So I just call them a health bar. All right. Oh, what is that? Assistant little vermin, aren't you? Well, my resources are far from exhausted. All right, little story thing. I got to get through there somehow. Um, you see that trail? When you press L1, that trail will tell you where you need to go, but I can't get through there yet, so I'm assuming I'll need to kill these enemies real quick. Come on, get them. Get them, minions. How many are there? I wish I had kept my necromancy spell so I could summon some some more in case my minions die but that's all right I wanted to show you guys the phase and kinesis no it's still not unlocked yet damn all right I guess I'll have to take out these few get them just die already stupendo oh wait what oh I'm frozen Expelliarmus and fucko stupido retardo magnifico cherry cheese the ultimate hogwarts legacy experience all right so now this is open so i'm gonna go ahead and collect this and you see this thing right here um you'll find these throughout the game throughout the levels and when you interact with them they kind of give you like a backstory like these ghosts will appear and start talking so we'll go ahead and interact with it it's like this everywhere my lord the undead fill the glacier such an ancient fury and with the power of the relic it will be my hand on the leash can it be done preceptor of course you idiot i will become 
the first and greatest of my lord's servants. And once they're done talking, there's this orb thing right here you collect. And I think it gives you a sigil. I think. Not 100% sure. But let's move on. Someone's butchered the cult in here. Don't know who did it, but I approve. As long as they're dead. Wait, is that an Etheria orb up there? Yeah, this one's still full. Look out for stashes like this all over. And I would recommend this game if you like magic, mages, you know, stuff like that. Because it is a good game. It really is. It's gotten a lot better. But. Oh shit. Hey, get away from me, little weirdo. Uh. And I'm playing on the difficulty called Battle Mage. It's one of the harder difficulties. And this game can become challenging. It really can. And I'm trying to figure out where that guy was. Because I want to collect that orb. Oh, hell with it. I don't know where it's at. Whoa. Oh shit. That fire looked funny. And you know what? Hogwarts Legacy has nothing on this game. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> You're doing fine. Hell, you want to know something else you did right? Talk to me. When you purified that reliquary, you broke Shax's control over a lot of the undead. So enjoy the show. I'm going to find some more information on this master Shax talked about. Alright. So now we're back at another one of these. And I'm going to get my necromancy back on. And I'm going to get my ice back on. I just like having my fire, ice, and necromancy. It's just a good combo. But, um, yeah. I just wanted to show this a bit. Maybe somebody might want to play it again, or maybe you might want to check it out if you're into these kind of games. Lich Dom Battle Mage. And it's pretty cheap if you can get it on sale. I mean, full price is pretty cheap, but if you can get it on sale, it's even cheaper. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, consider subscribing. Um, but first, I recommend you check out my channel and my other videos to see if you want to subscribe to my channel if you're into my kind of content and um i want to thank my subscribers you guys are awesome and i really appreciate the support and you guys sticking with me i see i hit 200 subscribers and that's awesome because i've been doing this for quite a while i've only been taking i started taking it really serious about a year ago um but it's awesome to see the channel growing so thank you guys so much for supporting me and sticking with me and yeah, check this game out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.